isometric drawing is a method of making 3d drawing using x and y coordinates so right now on your screen you can see a drawing which has been made only x and y coordinates it looks like a orthographic views so now we can convert it into isometric drawing using isometric command to turn the isometric mode on click on the iso drop button which is available on the status toggle when you will turn it on you will see the grid setting is changed it looks like a isoplane top left and right okay now we can start uh, making isometric view of this drawing so first of all we can create a base of this object having a 70 mm length and height by starting a line command click on any at random point and give 70 mm length and give 70 mm height by pressing f5 we can change a isoplane top to left or right okay outer boundary is uh, completed now using copy command to give a height of base okay now base wall is completed by selecting a trim command erase the unnecessary objects of the corners okay now base wall is completed give a uh, corner edges of this wall okay now we can use a side view to create a one by one cube by using line command give a 10 mm units one by one and draw a one by one cube All right, our first line is completed. Now using copy command, give a thickness of this cube of 10 units. Okay, now make the corner edges of this cube one by one by using copy command. Click on base point. okay now carefully select only these lines which you want to copy and deselect unnecessary lines click on base point and copy one by one okay by using erase command erase all these lines which has been no longer required select one by one and erase it So let's join this corner okay after trimming all the extra edges here we obtain final geometry which can quite similar to the isometric view of the orthographic views now it's time to shading of this object by using H and gradient command now choose the little bit lighter version of these colors for top view Okay, for uh, front view, choose a little bit darker version of this color. Okay, now side view is remaining. For this, select a darker version of this color. Alright, 
now we can change the color of the edges of cubes into a black color so we can easily clear out the shape of these cubes our final geometry is completed with lots of shades we will stop here thank you for watching